Not really anything current day to designate why this is here, but nonetheless, an incredible relic. Movies. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I've just crossed over the state line into Texas. Taking the roads less traveled as I dive deep into Americana, small town life, and some of the areas that are generally passed over by heavy traffic. No theme parks, no major attractions, just a breath of fresh air as I go across the US of A. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Now there is a lot of ground to cover. In fact, the Atlas takes up two pages of maps. The route that I will be meandering through started right up here in the far northern eastern portion. And just gonna make my way, kind of hugging the line through these sections and then ending up somewhere right up here, give or take. First little community I'm pulling over at is New Boston. Good to see the old theater still being utilized as a shop, church steeple in the distance and a horse up in the air. See it there in the middle? This has seen some years. The logo has changed just a little bit over time. Noticing around the back, just one-sided. Not the most common looking water tower, the bulbous portion at the top, it's a little smaller, kind of, kind of reminds me of like a radio signal mechanism of some sort. I think it's a water tower. Someone utilizing their burn barrels over there discarding some trash. Whoa. Heavy duty. It's a heavy piece of machinery turning at the intersection. This is downtown DeKalb. Storefront to the right still has where the signage used to be, that metal piece. And over the window, are some wooden shingles. That's different. The view is partially blocked by the power lines, but the State Theater is impressive. For one reason or another, the wording is spray painted on the brick as well. The awning still completely intact. Gotta love this. name up top, but this is the town of Avery. Nice perspective with uh, the barn underneath the tower. And random porta potty to the right. See him up there? Looming down two buzzards. There's no money in that bank anymore, fellas. Yeah, get going. Skedaddle. Dry goods and general merchandise here at the pharmacy. That rusted out piece there hanging on the wall.
That's a mail carrying vehicle there. The Jeep that's parked. Non traditional. Someone's placed an outhouse in their field. The town square of Clarksville with an active radio shack. Used to be a five and ten. The building is still in use as an antique store by appointment only. Continued on just a bit to Little Motor City. I'm in Detroit, Texas. The main strip over in the distance. What the heck is this? Huh. The Blossom Water Tower in that direction and hardware store located on the corner of front and center street there's commuters going by on the next little street over but this road not too busy whoa what are they running to you happy you guys happy to see someone out here how's it going Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna stop and talk. Okay, that was a no. Honey Grove, cobblestone streets and all. Next to Antiques Unique Junk, the Sharp Brothers opened their business back in 1937. Over to the right, the side entrance of the Village Club. I wonder what that is. In order to find out, you have to step through these wooden doors, which undoubtedly could tell some tells. They've got some age on them. A feed and army surplus store. And of course, I'm obviously drawn into that sign. Just a few miles down is Wyndham. Original bank building located next to these grain shafts and underneath the water tower. City Hall states established 1870. Post office just adjacent. You have warm cookies? I like cookies. Population of 243. 
a nickel for the drink and a penny for your deposit. And you got your penny back when you brought your bottle back. That's amazing. And thank you for the cookies. I got a sugar cookie. And a chocolate chip. And a chocolate chip. The folks in that shop and diner next to the post office were very kind. Continuing on. All I can say is wow. A plethora of muffler men just hanging out here next to the thoroughfare for all to see, any passerbyers. Dang, this is awesome. Can't forget about the calf. It's tied up to her shoe. Look at that rope. These cows are staring at me. They're either looking at me or the big statues that are behind me. Could be one of the two. Standing very tall, nearly as high as that tree beside them, or the building behind them. All right, see you later, partners. A little pull off here with picnic tables directly under oil rigs and another emblem of the state itself, similar to the one I saw this morning upon crossing the line. Not a full rest stop, there are no facilities available. Something's happening. A little digging taking place in the median over there. St. Joe, where the Chisholm Trail cuts the California road. Next to the Chamber of Commerce is the Cowboy Depot and a couple of really cool looking hotels. Reading the plaque, this was the first building in town, 1930, the Stonewall Saloon. Get a pretty good perspective on how large this painting is, this advertisement, based on the door to the left of it. All the way down at the end, that windmill is turning at a rapid pace. Well, not too rapid, but semi-rapid. It's got a nice little vibe to it, very quaint. Even a little movie theater and the bank there on the end. Henrietta is the county seat of Clay County. And in the square is the courthouse. And this is the downtown section.
This is a toughie. It'll be very difficult to figure out. It's way faded. I'm seeing lunch up there. I see the U, the N, the C, and the H. And then in front of the U looks to be an L. So we got lunch. And then above that word is yet another one, which might have an R and a U in it. It's tough. Say goodbye to the sun. It is setting. And as nightfall begins to rear its head, ended up in Oakla Union. Texas, that is. across this field, more of those very large windmills producing power, creating power, one of the two. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. I got distracted by those barking dogs. Take it a step further. Ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, what are you looking at? Oh, you're just gonna walk away, huh? Give it a big thumbs up. Oh, there's a whole herd. It lets me know. Don't be shy. Oh my gosh, little babies. You care. You're marching to your own drummer, huh? Staying away from the pack? Now they're all walking over to you. It's like a parade. See you in the next video. The vlog. Is over.